So, the first candle that we're going to talk about today, it is called Pheromones. Now, with this release, she split them up into two. So, it was like a two-pack, but I got all four. Well, all four candles. It was two two-packs. Anyway, this, I'm going to read the notes. So, the top, you have pink champagne, citrus and strawberry. The heart, you have jasmine and apple. And at the base, you have musk and plum. Now, confession. I mean, the candle is gone now. But when it came to a cold throw and just a wonderful scent, baby, pheromones was going to be the one. I am sad to report that when I lit this, I smelled nothing. Which is crazy because when you could sniff the candle, when there was an actual candle in here, I could smell it. And it smelled like it was going to be my favorite one. Because I could literally smell what was like the strawberry and the apple and the champagne, like the fizziness. I could smell it when the candle was in here. But when I lit it, I couldn't smell it. Even when I left the room, couldn't smell it. Put it on the candle warmer. Eh, I got something. It was like this much scent. And this is one of the candles that let me down the most. Didn't like it in the end. But the others were pretty good. Stay tuned. This candle from this release. It's called Champagne Wasted. It comes with this nice, beautiful purple. The notes of it are strawberry peach, pink champagne. The heart has magnolia and rose. And the base is vanilla and heliotrope. Now this one, I liked it. It wasn't bad. But it kind of reminded me of, you know, the... The air freshener that came in the purple can with the native person on it. That's what this reminded me of. Almost mixed with the strawberry. So if you know what I'm talking about, it's that strawberry scent and that purple can scent mixed into one. And put in the champagne wasted. Now, that doesn't mean it stinks. That doesn't mean it's low quality. But when you smell it. That's what you're going to think of, or at least when I smelled it, that's what I thought of. It was nice. Like, it smelled nice with the cold throw. It smelled nice when I lit it. And on the oil warmer, it smelled nice too. So I enjoyed this candle much better than the other one. But we have more from this collection. Stay tuned. All right. We have Heartbreaker up next. And when you think of Heartbreaker... Probably going to think Mariah Carey, but let's go over these notes. So at the top, you have strawberry and peach. At the heart, you have jasmine and heliotrope. And at the base, you have musk, vanilla, and sandalwood. Now, to be completely honest, it's something about the strawberry notes in these candles. It does smell a little bit synthetic, but it's not atrocious. I liked it. It was nice. It's just the nice, pleasant scent. It was one of the ones that I actually liked lighting, but it wasn't my favorite. Surprisingly, I have a favorite from this collection, and that one's coming up next. So out of all of these candles, which one was my favorite? Sweet Spot. So what made this so good? At the top, you have orange and chocolate. At the heart, you have gardenia, jasmine, coconut. and the base, you have musk. When I smelled this one, all I really got was orange and chocolate. And if you remember back in the day where they had that orange, what was a, actually a lump of chocolate that was shaped like an orange in an orange wrapper, that when you cracked it, it split up into eight pieces. That is what this candle reminds me of. Sweet orange and chocolate. <sighs> it was a beautiful experience. 
highly recommend this candle. It actually was my favorite, and I was surprised. I really thought pheromones was going to be my favorite. A dud. Sweet Spot was, in fact, the sweet spot in this collection. So that is my review of this collection from Forever Mood. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye!